okay so now let us have a look at what this particular section is or what is the logic bricks and logic brick editor section so compared to a normal programming where you write your code the logic brick section is from which we develop our code visually so basically this consists of three parts fine here we have our one section side called as the sensors another is controllers and third part is actuators fine i will discuss about controllers and sensors and actuators in details later on but in simple terms sensors are in a game we need to give some input some inputs are to be used and then some action has to take place so sensors basically are mechanism from where we can take input you can see the list of sensors the simplest understanding is keyboard keyboard is a sensor where usually you have set the keys the arrow keys for movements and actuators are the action that you want to happen when those sensors are initialized or when these sensors give a high or low pulse dependent upon how you configure them and over here you can set some action over here now here you have this particular uh, simplest of understanding is motion fine so here is an actuator motion which can be assigned with the forward up arrow key and we can assign a forward motion to our object when we connect them and the last part is controllers controllers are the uh, logic that you can use like and or nand with some input combinations and so many other things so generally we will not need to make any changes or se selections to this part initially but uh, this is something like if you have done programming you know that there are conditions and or that so on you can use these to connect so now with the help of these sensors controllers and actuators we can add logic for our game to different objects so this is our logic editor section and these are our logic bricks.